Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome everybody. It's Chris back with yet another fragrance review. And today it's a bliss. It's so wonderful. Uh, I'm coming to you from a very special place, lakeside Lago di Como. Uh, in Italy, obviously, I'm here for, uh, due to an invitation of a dear friend of mine who, well, how should I put this, my list? Fairly well known, okay, put it that, that way, and I can't disclose more, obviously, uh, unfortunately. But um, when I thought about coming here, finally got vaccinated, had the, the, the tremendous opportunity to travel again, uh, I thought, you know, I have to bring a fragrance uh, along here that I can um, review in this world-class scenery. And that can only be a world-class fragrance. And that is... Fontaccio Ventuno by the house of Gianfranco Ferre. Gianfranco Ferre, the architect of fashion, okay? Um, this fragrance was, was released by the house in the year of 2000 and the name refers to the address of the house, the, 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 the address of the Maison uh, Ferre at the time, in the year of 2000, okay? So, so uh, this fragrance um, came out a very, at a very special time. I think the year 2000 was something at a time when um, when there was lots of changes taking place in the in the in the fragrance market and the industry as well, uh, brands were trying to find their ways. And in midst of all of this, Gianfranco Ferre released something that is sheer and total and total world class, the best male designer fragrance ever released, in my opinion. Why, you can ask why. I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. Bear with me, okay? The blend, it's all about the blend and the tremendously surprising notes that are pleasant that are pleasant and present in this blend. Uh, very special ones. I'm gonna come to them. Um, how's it fragrance how's the fragrance look in itself? I mean the bottle, right? The bottle is beautiful. Uh, just what you would expect from the architect of fashion. This is how the bottle looks. Brilliant uh, heavy bottle um, Ferre Pontaccio 21 and this fantastic leather wrapping all around the bottle. Beautiful. Um, so how's it smell? It greets you with a, a um, a fresh, spicy um, initial sort of blow, a soft, a, a blow of, 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 of rosemary um, and, and, and some lime and some mandarin orange and some neroli and some cardamom. So it's, it's, it's moderately spicy flesh, uh, fresh. It's, it's blowing like a soft wind. It's not aggressive ever in its in its in its development and performance ever, but it's very uh, constant and long-lasting. Okay, I gotta gotta say that. And after that initial um, impact, initial initial uh, greeting notes that 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 first appear, you will you have immediately some nice soft leather, some suede come in there uh, at you. Together with some myrrh, some 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 greens of uh, greenery uh, due to cypress and sage, and as well as some muskiness, some amber, and then come the three notes I totally adore in this: uh, angelica, narcissus, and jasmine. Together, these three I've never seen them with any other fragrance, ever. Okay, beautifully, beautifully composed. And in the in the, in the dry down, we have some some patchouli to add some more backbone, but it really is not very prominent here. This is a soft, spicy, floral. Um, suede fragrance that just lingers and lingers and lingers. Its performance, its longevity, its silage, its projection is perfect. It's never pushy, but it's constant. It's like a second skin type of scenario. It's very elegant, but can be laid, can be worn in, in casual laid back scenarios as well. Um, again, so well spoken, well blended, intelligent fragrance to no end. Um, the best blend I have ever come across and the most a special individual blend. This smells like nothing else out there. And it smells, I'll tell you something, it smells intimate, but not in the sexual way, in the personal way. It smells like the wearer. It, it, it's such a signature material. It smells like like somebody so unique would wear this. Uh, that, that, you know, it, it's once in a lifetime experience to smell uh, this fragrance or somebody that wears this fragrance because it's so memorable. It's, it's, it's such a tremendously nice, perfect blend, okay, that, that I cannot exaggerate enough the beauty of this. And it, again, it smells to me very intimate, but not in a sexual way, in a very personal way. It smells very personal, okay? 
And if I if I should summarize, um, there's there's some people out there um, that that tell stories about near death experience when pictures of their life are passing by in front of them and and, and they see them and, and and this this is how personal this is. Or another scenario, you sit in your, in your in your leather chair in your 50s and, and and look at your kids, look at your family, look at what you have achieved, what you've went through in your life, good, bad, indifferent, anything that made you. The person you are today. This is how it smells. Okay, it's this is this is for a complex person. This is for somebody who is happy uh, and who is content and is who is who is who is enjoying life, um, but but staying away from the extreme, from the flashiness, enjoying life in good taste with good values. Okay, Pontaccio 21, Pontaccio 21 is that type of scenario. Okay, and this is why it fits this fantastically beautiful. Lakeside Lago di Como environment because um, both are world class, okay? So that's that's all I can say. And thanks very much for your attention. And that was me with uh, Pontaccio 21, uh, 21 21 from the house of Gianfranco Ferre. Grazie e ci vediamo. I'm off for a nice dinner with some uh, beautiful vino. Eh? Ciao.